thanks for agreeing to play ACGC with me. I hope you learn a little bit, but more importantly, we have fun playing. Let's see, get started. To start, we each roll one dice. Whoever has the lowest number gets the first play. Okay, since I rolled a two, I get the first play. So go ahead and collect your die. I rolled a six and a four. So I'm gonna start coming out of my home box into my start quadrant. Each triangle represents one space you can move. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six for my first move. Okay, and now it's my turn. Now it's your turn. A six and a two. doubles. That's an interesting thing. When you roll doubles, you actually get twice the value on the face of the dice. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, twice, but then because it's a doubles, you get two more pieces that can move that wow. same value. That was a good roll. It was. All right, now it's your turn. <laughs> Of choices here. <laughs> I should mention you can't move past your home or your start quadrant until all of your pieces are out of the home box. Oh, that's good to know. So, right now, all you're doing is getting them out of okay. the box onto the board. One, two, three, four, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna beat me. One, two, three, four, and two more. Luckily, re your rolls can reverse and your luck can change real fast in this game. <laughs> Just like that, you're back in it. <laughs> oh, and I rolled an AC do C. So, here's what happens with an AC do C. First, I move the value on the dice. So, I moved one and I'll just go one, two for the value of the dice. Here's where it gets fun. Next, I get to choose any doubles I want. So, I think I'm going to take six. Go, I've got two pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I can leave my start or yeah, my start quadrant because all of the pieces are on the board now. The other two from my doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the last perk of AC Doocy, you get to roll again. That was a good roll. AC Doocy <laughs> is a real lucky roll. Two, three, four, five, six. And now it's your turn. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> I have some catching up to do. Okay. At least you got doubles. And you can move past your start quadrant now. Okay. And then 
I get two more, right? Because it's double? Yep. So as we move on, we're going to start hitting a little bit of strategy now. It's not very complicated, but you're going to want to keep at least two pieces on as many spaces as you can. If you only have one space on it, I can land on it. If it's got two spaces or two pieces, I cannot land on that space at all. Oh, okay. So these three, or all of my spaces that have brown pieces on them, are blocked to you right now, but I could in theory land on any of these places that have only one piece on yours. Okay. Well, this is... <laughs> okay. I'll do one, two, three, and... So another thing you can do is you can take both of those moves with the same piece. So I could go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. The only thing you have to be concerned about is either, either one of those exact numbers on the dice face has to be open. So if either the three, or if both the three and the four were blocked by your pieces, I couldn't move the full seven. <laughs> so a nice way to keep track of it, even numbers you'll go to the same color, odd numbers you'll move to the opposite color. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And one, two, three. We'll just start opening some stuff up. All right, I'm going to interrupt you for just a okay. sec. If you're going to start playing a little more strategically, <laughs> what you're going to want to do is start landing on some of my pieces. Okay. So we haven't talked about that yet. Yeah. But if you take, for instance, one of this, one, two, three, four, nope. No, that will land you here. Um, I don't know that I can. You can. Let's see. How would we do this? One, two, three, four, five. And then five would put you here. Okay. So go ahead and. You can go yeah. 10 forward. Okay. And you just landed on my piece, it goes onto the bar. Okay. What happens when your piece is on the bar means I have to start all the way over from the beginning and I cannot move any other pieces until I'm off the bar. <laughs> okay. So Yay. it's a good way to make your opponent slow down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The farther into the game you go, the better it is to knock someone onto the bar because they'll have to start over farther back. 
shore that up so you can't knock those ones off. Okay. Instinctually had it. You didn't may not have even seen it. No. Your fin your hand instinctively went to shore this guy up. Yeah. And I would do that. Use the six. <laughs> this one? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that would be how I'd play it. Four. Double. That this is the game of doubles for me. If I were going to play me, I would take these two and knock you off. But since we're just starting and only learning the game, I'm going to play nice right now. <laughs> Thank you. And go one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. You're going to let me catch up? <laughs> a little more evenly, <laughs> so it's a good demonstration game. you're going to have to just risk it and leave yourself <laughs> and exposed. <laughs>
sure, but say that's three of them. <laughs> Sorry. And if not, oh well. <laughs> that's just so many moves. <laughs> Double twos. Places you can move it, you just lose that number. Okay. One, four. One, two, three, four. Nope. I'm gonna just start getting these pieces over. One, two, three, four, and five. that as you get farther across the board, you'll leave something open, <laughs> and I will have a piece there to attack. That makes sense. The nice thing about those evens is, like with these two, you can end up on the same square. So two Six from now, do no. Nope. Do I can't. I know. <laughs> what can I actually move? Or, well, you'd leave this one exposed, but you could go two, four, six, and then. No. No. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's a tricky one. It is. I think I'm going to have to leave something open, aren't I? I think you are. target for me right now because I'd leave two pieces exposed and I wouldn't gain a lot. You'd send two of my real late, have the option to send two of my late pieces to the bar. Oh, that's true. So it's a low value target for me. <laughs> that's a good thing. and hope that it's a low value target <laughs> okay. for me. And I won't. But what can I actually move? Uh, this one can go two, four, six. All right. Okay. So another fun thing about AC Doocy, just a bit of trivia, AC was a nickname given to first class chief petty officers during World War One. And Ducey was second class chief petty officers. Yeah. So they named the game 
with the one and two after first and second class chiefs. <laughs> I can definitely picture chiefs on a ship playing this game. You can roll up with a dice and some counters. You had a good, easily stowable Seems like a good game, game. on a ship. Low number for me. Okay, four is good enough. I'll take it. <laughs> I can come off on a four. Just tidy those up. Uh oh, I can take that one. Oh, you saw it before I did. <laughs> Sorry. over soon. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. That's one way to look at it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Aha, <laughs> how the tables have turned. I learned the dice are in my favor. Except I still can't move him because you were on the five. Well, that's okay. But you've got plenty of others. Yeah. Alright. Five. And then another set of five, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean to block you, but I guess I'm doing a pretty good job of it. It's the name of the game. You can't move them to face you. That scares me. No, but you can get them closer. stuck on the bar. I'm going to come out on the four. And then you still have the two, right? I do still have the two. something exposed for me to catch. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but now you're exposed. I pretty obviously have to win. You sure do. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm just obsessively compulsively straightening the pieces. Okay, we're coming off the board right away this time. Okay, here we go. We're moving two and two.
So now we are at the point where you're going to be starting to clear into your home box again. Mm -hmm. To clear into the home box, you have to roll either the exact number or have pieces larger than the number you rolled. So I'll explain as we go, okay. so go ahead and roll. So right now you can clear it two because you have an exact two okay. and you have an exact six. You do see. That's not going to do me as good as I'd like. One, two. Seems very fitting. It does. Well, thank you for playing. Thank 
you for teaching me. I hope we had some fun, and I hope everyone at home has fun playing some AC2C2.